OK, you're getting the ref error in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to go through the most likely scenarios that would cause that error. Now, essentially, the ref error is telling you that Excel can't find the cells that your formula is referring to. I haven't got the ref error at the moment, but if you look at this commission calculation, you can see that it refers to these two cells. Now, if I was to delete those cells, when I say delete, I don't mean clearing the contents. That will not cause the ref error. What I mean is actually deleting them. So if I select those cells and I go up to delete here and delete cells and I'll shift cells up, that will cause the ref error. Now, another thing that might cause the ref error is where you cut and paste cells over cells that were previously referred to within a formula. So look, if I cut this, Control X, click here and press Enter to paste, that causes the ref error. If I was to do a copy and paste, so Control C, click here, press Enter, it doesn't cause the error. OK, let's look at another scenario. You can see here that I'm totaling up these columns. Let's say I delete the July column. You can see that this row for Bob gets a ref error. Now, that's because this sum formula refers to each individual cell that it's attempting to add up. Whereas down here, these formulas refer to a range. So you can see that where I refer to a range, the formula is a lot more adaptable. If I refer to individual cells, I get the ref error when I delete a particular column. So watch out for that scenario as well. OK, let's move on to our next scenario. So this is a VLOOKUP scenario, and it's a classic case of where you might get the ref error. So I'm going to look up the discount for these products. So my lookup value would be the category letter, comma, my table array would be this table of discounts. And I'm going to lock that with the F4 key on my keyboard, comma, call index number, where the discounts are in the third column. And I'm doing an exact match. Now, if I close the bracket and press Enter, just apply some percentage format, copy it down, you can see it works. But now, if I delete the make column, I get the ref error. And that's because my call index number is three. Now, previously, this table obviously contained three columns. Now it only contains two. So you're asking Excel to return values from a third column in a two column table. And that's why you're getting the ref error. So I need to change that to two and then it will work. Now, in these two tables, I'm already getting the ref error. And I'm getting the ref error because I'm referring to a closed workbook within these formulas. Now, referring to a closed workbook doesn't normally cause the ref error, but it does in these two scenarios. In the first scenario, I'm referring to a spilled array formula in the other workbook. I'll show you what that formula is in a moment. And in this scenario, I'm referring to a table an official Excel table, and that also causes the error. You can see here the table is called product list. Now, if I open up that other file and then minimize it, you'll see it gets rid of the ref error. Let's just have a look at that file. So in the first formula, I was referring to a spilled array formula in this cell here. And that uses the unique function to spill the unique values from column B in my table. See that that's the case there, F2 hash. Now, in my second table, I'm referring to this data in an Excel table. So an Excel table is where you go to insert and table. And the table has been given the name product list. So in both of these scenarios, if this workbook is closed, I'm going to get the ref error. Now, you can see I haven't got the ref error at the moment, but if I refresh this formula, 
the ref error occurs. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.